Hi crypto peeps, hope you're doing well. Today's date is 12th of July 2023 and Bitcoin and the markets are doing well right now with Bitcoin at around about $30,700. So doing well and there's lots of news out there about how Bitcoin is in a bull run. So with this, let's get straight to the news. Okay, so this first story here is on Finbold. Investors brace for digital gold rush as the Bitcoin bull market kicks off. Although Bitcoin is back below the critical psychological threshold of $31,000 it had reclaimed earlier and continues to consolidate, historical trends and the indicators suggest that the decentralized finance asset has officially entered the bull market. The digital assets earlier chart patterns, specifically those from 2016 and 2019, suggest that the Bitcoin bull market has officially kicked off. And there's the chart there if you want to see this. Uh, it goes on to say here from Seth, the upcoming Bitcoin move isn't just a trend, it's a revolution. As institutional investors are lining up, ready to dive into the digital gold rush. Seth predicts the wide-reaching effects of this and caused a seismic shift in the financial landscape. Uh, the, but the above crypto trading analyst predictions line up with those of another crypto expert called Trader Tardigrade, who noted that the Bitcoin price momentum oscillator, or the PMO, has turned green after a period of time in the red, similar to that that occurred in 2014 and 2015. And this followed a huge bull run to all-time highs later on. And there's the charts there on that one as well. As with all the news bites, uh, these are just snippets of the information. All the real details are down below, so check that out in full detail. So next here, we're going to move on to Cryptopolitan here. Switzerland positions itself as a crypto hub with its Plan B project. It says Switzerland, renowned uh, for its banking secrecy laws and attracting the wealthy, has become a favorable environment for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency enthusiasts. Lugano in particular has emerged as a hotspot for Bitcoin adoption with the city embracing cryptocurrencies for everyday transactions. Uh, Zhang Gai, who leads Tevra's Plan B, believes that Switzerland's remarkable adoption of cryptocurrencies is not only a result of its well-established financial infrastructure, but also due to its alignment of Bitcoin's self-sovereign ideas with Swiss values. The Swiss, known for their emphasis on individual sovereignty and financial privacy, have found common ground with the principles underlying the Bitcoin movement. And this alignment has led to a high density of Bitcoin-only companies in Switzerland, potentially one of the highest per capita in the world. He also noted that more politicians, diplomats and members of parliament and even Switzerland's financial commission are becoming Bitcoin enthusiasts. This growing interest from influential figures is further reinforces the optimistic outlook for Bitcoin adoption in the country. One key factor contributing to the increased use of Bitcoin in Switzerland is the concerted effort to educate the public about its benefits. Regular articles in newspapers and other media outlets aim to inform individuals interested in financial freedom and freedom of speech about the role Bitcoin plays in achieving these goals. Whilst Bitcoin adoption remains a gradual process, the onboarding of merchants in Lugano has played a critical role in expanding the payment options available to the residents. And there's more on this if that one interests you. So that's a really interesting story about adoption there that's happening around the world. Okay, my next piece of news here uh, is on Market Watch. Bitcoin finally decoupled from US stocks, and here's why it matters. For more than two years, Bitcoin and stocks often traded in tandem with each other, but maybe no longer. The correlation between Bitcoin and the S&P 500 index has fallen to close to zero. And this is according to a Tuesday note by Dan Moorhead, founder and managing partner, partner of Pantera Capital. They gone to say during the first nine years of existence of Bitcoin, which was created in 2009, correlation between crypto and the S&P 500 was 0.03. However, the correlation between the two assets started to rise starting in 2020 and it peaked at 0.76 in May last year. 
A fall in the correlation between Bitcoin and stocks is bullish for crypto assets. When you find a new asset class with incredibly high historical returns and essentially no correlation with typical assets, that's the dream investment, he goes on to say. There's more information on this one, so if that one interests you, again, the links are down below. Click those and have a look. My next piece of news here is the news that's driving this entire market, really. This is on Cointelegraph. This is some extra news on this. The BlackRock Bitcoin ETF could unlock $30 trillion worth of wealth, says Bloomberg analysts. $30 trillion worth of capital could suddenly unlock for the Bitcoin market if a Bitcoin spot ETF is approved by the US Securities and Exchange Commission. And this is according to Bloomberg ETF analyst Eric Bouchonas. That is the estimated amount of assets controlled by financial advisors in the US who would be willing to get an exposure to Bitcoin through a regulated exchange traded fund. BlackRock's application for a Bitcoin spot ETF last month sparked a new wave of optimism around the crypto market, which led to other firms such as ARK Investment, Valkyrie and Fidelity to file their own applications for a Bitcoin ETF. The involvement of BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager, was enough to raise the chances of a Bitcoin spot ETF approval from 1% to 50%, according to Bautunas. They're very smart and they just don't throw out filings willy-nilly, the analyst said. They clearly see something out there that they think they can get through the regulators. Again, more information on that one if that one interests you. My final piece of paper-based news here is on Reuters. Standard Charter boosts 2024 Bitcoin forecast to $120,000. It says here the value of the top cryptocurrency Bitcoin could reach $50,000 this year and $120,000 by the end of 2024, say Starter Chartered, um, and this was on Monday. Star Standard Chartered published a 100,000 and two, uh, 2024 forecast for Bitcoin back in April on the view that the so-called crypto winter was over, but one of the bank's top FX analysts said there was now a 20% upside to that call. They go on to say trillions of dollars were wiped from the crypto market in 2022 as central banks hiked rates and a string of crypto firms such as FTX exchange imploded. This year's collapse of a number of traditional style banks though has fed the rebound. Standard Charter said that the rationale for its predicted price rise was that the miners who mint the 900 new bitcoins produced each day around the world would soon need to sell fewer to cover their costs mostly electricity uh, power supercomputers. Kendrick estimated that miners have recently been selling 100% of their new coins. If the price hits 50,000 though, they would probably only sell 20 to 30%. He goes on to say it's the equivalent of miners reducing the amount of Bitcoins they sell per day to just 180 to 270 from 900 that they sell currently. Over a year, that would reduce miner selling from around about 328,500 to a range of 65,000 to 98,000, a reduction in net Bitcoin supply of roughly 250,000 Bitcoins per year, which again would make them a lot more valuable. So with that, we're going to move on to video based news here. The first one I have here is on Traders Reality. This goes on for 32 minutes. It's a new channel to me, so I don't know exactly what to do, but I find that this one was interesting, and it's all about the back, bank predicts Bitcoin price and lots of other bits and pieces there. So check that one out and see what you think of that. The next one here is a no favorite of mine. Uh, this is uh, CNBC uh, World News here and you know crypto news. This goes on for 12 minutes and they talk about Coinbase shards rise amid Bitcoin ETF optimism. The UK crackdown on crypto ATMs and a lot more on that one. And a final one I have here is on Coinborrow, a great favorite of mine. You should subscribe to these great information several times a week. And this is goes on for 30 minutes, and they says basically they're coming for your crypto. The IMF tax report says it all. Um, so that's the news there on those ones. Um, so if you like what we do, please subscribe and click the links down below. That would help us immensely. And if you have any comments you want us anything to look at, leave it in the comments or send us an email, get in touch with us. We're happy to do that for you.
as we said it's looking good out there at the moment bitcoin looks like it's getting adoption all over the place everyone's really interested in it it's holding steady at you know 30 to 31,000 at the moment so that's going good with indicators from everywhere that is going to significantly rise soon with that said be careful out there do your research check all the links below have a great week out there namaste see you next time